Hi, my name is Tamaki, and I am just got out of the shower, and uh, I'm getting ready to deep condition my hair with the Be Mine Beautiful Deep Conditioner. Um, I'll just give a little brief history of of my hair. I have been transitioning for uh, since June of 2009. And I think that the Be Mine products have helped me in that transition and have helped me to be able to make that transition more smoother. So, um, I, so now I'm just basically going to show how I will put the deep conditioner on, I'll rebraid my hair, and then I'll put on a plastic cap. And then I'll, I, I will not get underneath the dryer, I'll just let the natural heat of the cap uh, condition my hair and I do that for like 20 to 25 minutes and then I'll basically get back in the shower after that and rinse it out and then I'll come back out and then I'll um, show you the products that I use from Be Mine to do a braid out. So, I, as I said before, I recently got out of the shower so I can let you see the texture of my hair. My hair is very wavy. Uh, I've been transitioning for the past uh, almost well, almost two years since June of '09, and uh, it's it's been uh, it's been a good journey. So I'm going to take the Be Mine conditioner. That's what it looks like. It's, it's almost like a lotion consistency. Uh, the directions say to use a generous amount. Um, I basically I basically saturate my hair. Like I'll start out with that amount and then I'll see if I need more or less. So I will put it on my hair like that. And I detangle my hair before I get in the shower. So I should not have to be doing a whole lot. Like right now, I will not be doing, like using a comb or anything like that because I really don't think I need to because I've already uh, pretty much detangled. If I use a comb, I will probably use a comb when I get, you know, I get out the shower and get ready to um, use the Be Mine products to um, do, to braid my hair, uh, to do a braid out. So basically, as you can see, I just take my hands and I just saturate it through. I just make sure I get every tip end, end of my hair. Uh, and I make sure I get all the way up to the scalp. And I just make sure I get it all. So when I actually saturate everything, then I basically rebraid. I rebraid my hair and I rebraid my hair because I don't want it to get tangled when I get back in the shower to rinse the beautiful Be Mine deep conditioner out. So I just rebraid it and my hair will be braided when I get the plastic bonnet over my head. I'll just have my hair in braids. So I am braiding that part, and then I would just I just wrap my hair around like that, and then just do like that, and then I just put the plastic cap on. So that's what it looks like right now so I will uh, it's really nice because then like I got the cap on my head I can do like if I need to do little things around the house or something like that I can do that for 20 to 25 minutes then I will get in the shower I will rinse the deep conditioner out and then after that I'll dry my hair I'll come back out and then I'll show you how I'll style my braid out with the Be Mine products so stay tuned alright so now I have 
been deep conditioning with the cap on my head for 25 minutes so I'm getting ready to get into the shower and uh, rinse and then I'll come out and then I'll show you how I style uh, my hair in a braid out with uh, the, some of the Be Mine products that I use. So I'll be back. All right, I am out of the shower so I've already deep conditioned my hair and everything and I've, it's a little a little damp but uh, it's a uh, it's all all the deep conditioner is out so now I'm getting ready to start showing you how to that how I um, basically do a braid out with Be Mine products so I'm going to take the clip down and I'm only going to work with I work with the back part of my hair first there. So then I will take this so I have one braid down. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray Be Mine Juicy. So I'm going to spray that in my hair. Um, fully saturated. And I'm going to make this section, this part, I'm going to make these two braids. So now I have three braids on one side and three braids on the other side. So I spray this in. And saturated. now I'm going to use uh, Be Mine Moisturizer. I'm going to use like uh, three drops of this. I'm going to put that in my in my hand. Three drops. Well, oh, that's a little bit more. But three drops. And I rub that in the palm of my hands, and then I rub that in there, all the way through. Then after I do that, fully saturate that to the ends, I'm going to put in Luscious, a bit of that. Am I Luscious? About like that much. Rub that in my hands. And I'll do this, uh, I'll use these different products like this uh, for each braid. So I'll do this for each braid. So after I fully saturate that in, then I will use the Behold Curly Butter. And I use the Behold Curly Butter because this really lays down my hair really nicely. Um, it doesn't look frizzy and I don't have to do all this brushing and everything to make it look really nice. And it's just really good and it's like by me doing um, my hair being damp, It'll just, when it dries, it just looks so good. So I will use about that much per section. And I do the same thing. I rub it, rub it together. A little hair there. And then I will do that. And I'll rub that together, making sure that's all over my hair. And then I will braid. And I braid. I I don't braid tight, but I do braid. I do braid it where it's it's secure. You know, it's it's actually, you know, not real loose. And uh, and then I'll just braid it. I'll braid it like that. And then, as you can see, you notice I always go down like that, and I do that so because sometimes if you braid like this, hair will go come together, and it will often not. So I always go down. I go down, 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 and then just to make sure that everything is loose and even. And then I braid it all the way to the end. Okay, so I braided all, all I braided like three on this side, and then three on this side, and I 
sealed my ends with a uh, Be Mine moisturizer and uh, and then I put the satin rollers on. So now I'm going to put on my do-rag and actually I like putting it on the uh, putting the right side to to my my scalp and have the wrong side up so it doesn't make that line. So I put that on going to bed right now but what I will do is I'll just let it you know just let it hang and in the process my uh, my top my top will top of my hair will be uh, will uh, be kind of it'll lay it down really nicely and then when I get ready to go to bed I will put on uh, satin bonnet hey it's time for bed. So, I just to recap, I have uh, three braids on both sides of my head, and then I have satin rollers on each end, and I'm gonna put on a satin bonnet. So, I will see you in the morning. Hi, this is Tamaki, and I am getting ready to take out my braids with the braid out that I'm doing. I'm um, getting basically getting ready for church this morning so and cap off. And my my three braids on one side and my three braids on the other side are intact. So now I'm gonna take usually what I do is I'll take the satin I'll take the satin uh, rollers off. First. So what I'm gonna use just the while I'm taking the braids down, I'm going to use uh, like a drop of Be Mine Moisturizer. So I'll just use just a drop. First off, let's shake it up. Get all those good ingredients in there flowing. Okay, so now I'll take a drop. And I'll take a drop for each section. So what I do is I just start from the bottom up. And I just unbraid and it's as simple as that and it seems like when I put the moisturizer on the end uh, the slip of taking the braid down is just so so much easier there's no catching or anything like that and then I just kind of uh, kind of go through it and Take it apart but, so I can wear it like this. Um, I also like, I'm going to pin it up. I also like it like that. If I had like a hair hugger or something like that, I could wear it like that. I also, if I wanted to, uh, you know, you can make your own headbands. Like if I wanted to, this headband, I made this headband out of a, a basically stockings. And... I can put this over and I can do like that, take my hair down. And you know as the days progress, the curls will slowly um, will slowly get, you know, like your it'll get longer. So then I and a lot of times I can do that if I want it big. So that's just some of the the ways, one way I wanted, well that's just one way I wanted to, to just show how I do a braid out and how I can do different styles. So thanks for watching and Jesus loves you.